Hi friends, today I wanted to draw some birds. I have this little bird I drew on here. He's a little scrawny, but it's a little robin. And I was inspired um, by um, my card that I have received from Nikki Parr. And for my birthday, and I, this is a little birdie stamp here, and he's so cute. And I wanted to draw some birds. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm hoping you can. But I thought, well, I don't have a bird stamp, so I want to draw a bird. So I have a little circle here, or oval type egg shape. And I'm just going to draw some summer birds for our summer, love summer art week here that we're having. And so here is my little bird. I thought I would do some watercolor on him, and um, I think I've seen the stamp. I think I've seen the stamp, but I was like, didn't buy it because it was so expensive. So, um, uh, but it's such a cute little bird. So I'm gonna doodle my own bird. It's gonna be close to the same look, but I hope I don't get in trouble. Whatever. I don't know. You could doodle your own bird, make them a little fatter. But don't be discouraged if we don't we don't have the same products or stuff like that for making these things. So this is an old paper that was given to me in in uh, Happy Mail. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over with my watercolor crayon, see if that would be a good idea. Hopefully that is. I could probably did it with my water pencil maybe get a little better results. I don't know. We'll see. So, kind of have um, my little bird like that. So, I'm going to color a little bit of black here just for his eyes. I might just go over it with something else. I don't know. I got my water brush. Let's see how it turns out. So, Let's see. Kids in the background. Kids in the background. It's not. It's not too bad. His fe his tail feathers are a little bit thicker, but you don't want to make it exactly the same as as the stamp. Might get in trouble. I don't know. I thought he was cute, and I was like, oh, I want that, but I don't have that stamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make mine. So, uh, my water brush is not pouring the water out the way I want it. I'm going to make a little rosy chest like the one Nikki colored in with ink, I think. It was Distress Ink. It looks, I believe it is, but I could be wrong. And I'm going to go with um, nice brown on top. Oop, that's reddish. Oh no. Oh no, with my watercolors. And I thought, well, he's so cute. I can make him into a little page or something. I might just add a little orange on the beak. And I could add, let's see if this marker will. If this is just a, um, a Sharpie, and I'm just going to try and make his eyes. Because the watercolor crayon is not quite um, thin enough to do that. But we can just doodle our own little embellishments or birds. It is convenient to have a stamp though, but it's not too bad. He's very cute. So I'm just going to fill him in with color or the water color. I'm going to fill it in with water to spread it. So you could try your own duels. 
I'm not trying to take away from um, the person who made this product, but I am trying to just be able to have fun with birdies and doodles and whatever too. So it's really cute. His beak's a little different. So yeah, he's very cute. Okay. I think I'll give him a little dry. But the first one is cute. But you can doodle your own little birds and uh, play with it. And, oops, he's, he's okay. He's okay. I might use my black painters. So I'm using painters here. I just might go over it with my black. I don't know. It's got a bit of a sheen to it, so it's nice. So you could do it on music paper like I did the other one on music paper and I think I colored that one in with just pencil crayon doodling. And uh, that one I did a while ago though, just sitting at the couch doodling a bird. And there we go. Doodle our own little birds. I think it's cute. Cut them out. Let's see. He's a little on the wet side, but by the time I cut him out, he should be dry. I'm slow. And I can't hold paper. I could have used even any kind of paper. I didn't have to use aged paper, but I did use the aged paper. So, you know, there's tons of little bird stamps out there, and you don't have to copy the exact. This one's a little close to the exact, which might not be a good idea because people will get upset saying you're trying to steal the idea I'm not trying to steal the idea necessarily it's just a cute little bird and how, how many different ways you make a bird but I could do a little different position or chubbiness or body shape and yeah you can just play with it just like that and have your own little birdies So, that's going to be cute. Very cute on something. Let's see. Isn't that cute? Mod Podge Mom. My, why is my camera so blurry? But he's really cute not too bad so this is the original and I kind of just threw together the other guy but he's cute so thank you Nikki for my cards um I just wanted to make another little bird so that was really fun thanks guys I hope you liked the video um I'm gonna doodle some more talk to you guys later bye bye so now that I've done the bird i got um, some jelly print cards in the mail for Happy Mail. So I didn't make the jelly prints. Um, they're on here and here. They were gifted to me as well as the paper that I drew the bird on, the aged paper. So um, this is my version of that little bird, that stamp, and I hope you guys like it. And this is an index card inspired by that little stamp um, and card that I got from Nikki Parr 
and I hope you guys um, give it a try to doodle your own birds if you don't have these stamps and or sometimes they're just so pricey and yeah it makes sense to try to doodle your own so just I've been kind of going in with a pen and marker and um, getting it etched and you know just getting it right here I'm just looking in, in the mirror in the, the mirror but the uh, video and it's looking like I need to put a little darker there but anyways I'm using my um, painters white and black for around here I used my gold um, color was it called instant play color they are the sticks poster paint sticks that I bought and my stamp from Stampin' Up! is Your Friendship is Like a Song of Spring. And there we go. So that was it. And I use my watercolors to color them up. So I hope you guys like it. And give it a try. So if you have stamps, or you don't have the stamps, I mean, if you're not selling it, it's okay to try to doodle similar stamps and stuff like that. If you're just playing and doodling. Um... Or give, gifting as friends for friends. It's okay to do that. But as um, long as you're not selling it, you can't copy things and sell them, right? So I hope you guys have fun with it. And um, don't be discouraged if you don't have little birdie stamps. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Don't forget, grab like a duck.